Hello everybody, I am Liam Orson and it's so hot and how many damn it's been a while since I've really recorded on my channel for any game related thing, but I'm playing FNAF World, the second update dropped today recently, and I was messing around with it, and I kinda now know where I'm supposed to go. Um I've just been playing around a bit and I came in here which is a mystery in itself so far. If we could just get there we go. I came in here and now in the first update this guy tells you about something. I came in here and instantly noticed the red pixels. Is he dead? <laughs> Could he be dead? I I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm really not sure what's going on here, so I, I waited here for a while and nothing happens. I think he died. Which is really dark for this game. Uh, I came outside and then I didn't know what to do from there, because I was an idiot and didn't actually know that Fredbear appears like there. And he has some new dialogue and stuff like that, which I think further progresses this game. So I'm looking forward to where this goes. Um, firstly, I want to say, I'm not too sure why, but this game gets really laggy for me when I record it. It's probably because i got a terrible computer. I've tried everything. Uh, I'm not sure why, so I apologize in advance if this seems weird to you, the lag and stuff like that. And the fights seem laggy. I can try and fix it if anyone knows how to. Maybe how to put this in a windowed mode or something, but for now I'll have to compensate. Somehow I did not see Fredbear appear here at all, so let's go. So I've got Nightmare in my party. Welcome back, I hope you're ready for even more adventure. <sighs> Look, is it okay if we just cut the crap here? I mean, what are you even doing here? There is nothing new to see here. Are you sure about that? The game bombed. End of story. I've already put in my application at the Fazburger down the street. The problem is that now he has gone insane. Who has gone insane? The desk guy? We don't know what he is making and we can't reach the room where it is being kept. Whatever it is, it has everyone around here on the edge. You won't be able to reach the room where it is being kept. Any point you would have you would have would get wiped out. The air is toxic and the guardian is unbeatable. It's hopeless. Oh, could this be the planes? This could be where the planes are going. I recommend you exit the game and go find yourself a nice indie horror game. Get some hot chocolate, I don't care. Go ahead. Get lost. Well, that's just me, man. Look, I'm Nightmare, I can snap your neck off. <laughs> I don't know. But the Update 2 image has these planes in the top right. That could be where this is going. I think he's actually extended the game, which I'm kind of grateful for. Uh, one thing that I... Fine. One thing that I found was a bit... Okay, this is as far as I actually read. Actually, when I'll try this out. Well, look, if you insist on going further, you'll need a team stronger than what you have now. You'll need characters that weren't intended to have. <gasps> coffee! Yes! I'll have coffee, my. I can show you a secret passion that leads to the backstage of the Halloween update. Oh. This is where the Halloween characters and other were sent to have their code recycled for spin off games. Put a stop to those games and save those characters, then find the last area and uncover its dark secrets. So... There's new characters in this, you've got Purple Guy, two of the characters, no, three of the characters from FNAF 4's Halloween Edition. There's Coffee from The Little Hope, which I've been looking forward to having in my party so much. Coffee is like... oh, hello. Oh damn! Okay. This is new. I'm really intrigued, and I do I really apologize about the uh the frame rate. I'll try and fix it, but um the teaser image had these planes on it. Uh as I said, I think this extends the plot, which I'm grateful for. One thing that I felt about FNAF World was that the ending seemed a bit a bit weird. There was no real conclusion. That's what I felt was weird about this game. There wasn't really some kind of like it wasn't satisfying. I felt the endings weren't that satisfying. You you got to an ending, it said the end, that was it. You could continue and find other endings, which is good. I wish these crows would just stop mowing at me. <laughs> or mowing at me, um... 
Say like most RPGs, you'd beat the final boss and then you'd have like an extra sequence that like concludes the game. You feel satisfied, but that wasn't there with this game and I still had fun with it. I still find this fun, but I'm glad this kind of extends it. And I'm looking forward to getting the new characters, um, just to show you. Because I already, I'm playing hard mode and because I already beat the game, um, I've done the Scott ending and the Chipper ending, so I have unlocked Mr. Chipper already and Anim Dude or Scott. He's only level 19 because I only just messed around with him a bit. Everyone else are about 81 level. Well, some of them are 82, and I'd like that. This is my party right now. I think it's pretty good. The other characters you got are Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica, uh, Nightmare Balloon Boy, Night Marionette, Coffee, and Purple Guy, it seems. Really looking forward to Coffee. <laughs> Can't wait to meet him. Okay, let's talk to Fredbear again. This is where useless characters are banished and their code recycled to make terrible spin-off games. If you can infiltrate those games and salvage their code, they may join your team. Okay. Right, so... I want coffee. I want coffee right... Purple guy? How about she? Don't confuse me with the actual purple guy. I'm just a game sprite. Did you know there is a secret path that leads to this graveyard from the very beginning of the game? No, I didn't, actually. Can I...? Hmm. Can I just go this way? Hmm. Oh, so I can. Okay, I can go that way. Oh, there's Jacko Chica. Wait, why is Scott there? I already had him when I joined... Was I supposed to get him here? But I already had him and Chipper when I... I assumed you got him from beating the... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I have to be honest. Right, what do you have to say? Be careful, this is the path to the final area. It's full of toxic air that will drain your life and the boss is designed to be unbeatable. Only proceed if you're sure you're ready. Okay. Uh, I'll go get the other guys first, so let's talk to... Anim Dude or Scott. Ever since I was defeated as the final boss in FNAF World, I was demoted and sent here. Now my code is being used for some game about a rainbow, but the path to it is hidden. Huh. After the Halloween update, FNAF 4, our code was recycled to make other spin-off games. Oh, the indignity. So... What do I do? Oh, there's another whirlpool here. Oh. Nice movement you got there. This portal leads to a spin-off called Foxy Fighters. My code was stripped from me and is being used for it. I can't help you without it. Right, let's go in here then. Foxy Fighters, eh? What is- Oh, this is the plane! What's this, a space shooter? What the hell? That, my voice. What? Voice acting? No! He's gone too far this time! You need to shut this game down! What? <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! Alright, I'm ready for action! Chica, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry I'm late to the party. What? Fashionably late, of course. This is brilliant! Let's kick this party into high gear! So, Star Fox, basically. <laughs> 2D Star Fox. This is brilliant. Oh! oh. Oh no. Soldozer. <laughs> I should have known it was you. It's the Soldozer. I wasn't fully appreciated in my last outing, but now I'm back to show you my full power. Well, we're here to take back what's ours. This will be your last cameo. You know, this has given me both Star Fox and Platypus vibes. Maybe maybe the background with like enemies moving. Platypus is a really great shooter um, game that I really enjoy, but I'm really liking this update so far. <laughs> Seriously. Do a barrel roll. Sorry, I'm not sure what came over me. <laughs> Oh man, but Soldozer was in a game called The Pilgrim's Progress, and it was really- Oh my god, Power Ups. It was really kind of 
randomly placed in my opinion. It's like you're just walking down a tunnel and suddenly you're fighting a soul loser machine. I'm kind of glad to see him here. I'm guessing I'm going to have to fight him. That'd be amazing, but damn, I'm really enjoying this. Kudos to you, Scott. You've done a lot of work for this. <laughs> okay. Bingo! Right, so we've only got to fight soldiers in now. Oh, I've got. So they do they just fire randomly or do one? Oh, they fire randomly. That's pretty cool. Right. Okay. So we've got these guys. Oh, damn. That's a nice power up. Get him! Bingo. Get you already said that. You won't get tired of my voice, will you? I mean, unless you, you get. Oh, um, what? You? You voice, what? You? You voice, um, you voice, um, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to keep saying that, I will get tired of your voice. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. I mean, I started playing a really good RPG game, and now this is happening. <laughs> and this is only one of the games. Stand back now and I'll spare your lives. Or more likely, I'll just chase you around and kill you anyway. No, man, I'm going to kill you. Come on, have at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck you. I'm gonna take you down. I've also been playing a lot of um, Golden Galaxy, which is another game that Scott made. Um, uses a lot of Desolate Hope uh, stuff. Very hard game. I'm on like the last boss, and it's really annoying because my Android phone sucks. Come here, you. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna dodge. Oh god, he's firing rockets. Oh Mary. How much health does he have? I feel like he should have had a health bar. <laughs> oh, I think I got him. Oh no! Phantom Chica. Not Phantom Chica, Nightmare Chica. Why did I say Phantom Chica? We get, we get it. We get the point. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to fight him on my own eventually. Oh, no, that's not good. Let's get that. Shoot him with bubbles, I think. Oh, I kind of like the spread bullet. It's not. It's a lot more, a lot better. Oh man, I wonder what the other games are gonna be like. <laughs> this one's amazing. For a second I was thinking the, um... Not unless I play the Pilgrim Progress, man. I mean, then I'll see you again, but I I felt like the, um... The enemies that are appearing above him were given, uh... Guys. Uh, gals. I see the processing core. Let's blow it up and get out of here. I thought they were giving us the power-ups, because that reminds you of Platypus as well. Like, you have certain enemies that give you the power-ups. 150 kills, hell of a fight, rank C. Eh, I'll take that. And I have a no party member. Lovely! 